Okay, now we're ready to begin working on our first 3D printable design, which will be our handy tweezers. So open up Fusion 360, and as you can see, you'll start with a blank uh, screen here, which will just have uh, the title untitled, and so we'll have to give it a name and save it. Um, so we'll go ahead and click on the little save icon, and let's go ahead and call this tweezers. So we'll go ahead and create a new project to put all our models in. You can see here it says save to a project in the cloud. We'll click on a little drop down arrow because I don't, I don't want to save it to the current project it's set to. And we're going to create a new uh, project here by clicking the add project button. I'm going to call this tutorial designs. You can give it any name you want. Um, so we'll just go ahead and click on save. And it's a good idea to begin saving or start your designs by saving them because that way a fusion will then automatically start auto saving and uh, you don't have to worry about losing your designs. So you can note, note here that on the top it went from untitled to now it says tweezers v1. So let's begin. We're going to go ahead and click on sketch create sketch and fusion 360 will prompt us to choose a plane. Uh, we are in the 3D modeling environment, so we always have to first choose the plane we want to work on. I'm going to choose the XY plane, or you can see here that's going to be the green-red plane. I'm going to start modeling by creating a rectangle. So I'm going to go to rectangle, and in this case I'm going to choose center rectangle. Now I'm going to click on the origin, click and release the mouse button, and then move my mouse out and I'm ready to enter the dimensions. Now I want this to be 15 millimeters in height, so I'm going to hit 15, enter tab, and then hit 80, or enter 80 for the width. Now I can ent hit enter twice, and there's my rectangle. Next I want to go ahead and sketch an arc at this end. I'm going to choose the three point arc. So we'll go to sketch, arc, and three point arc. And I'm going to zoom in. Now, get in the habit of zooming in. I always notice uh, my students who begin modeling, and they will sometimes be all the way zoomed out and they're trying to draw. And it just makes it very difficult um, to make sure you've really chosen, you know, the right point you're trying to draw on and uh, leads to errors. So always try to fill your screen if you can uh, to the sketch that you're trying to draw. So in this case I have selected the three-point arc and the three-point arc works by uh, basically asking first to select the first point. So I'm going to select this corner and then it wants the second point and the third point is going to be the bulge. So you can see I can just move my mouse to select the bulge. Now as I start bringing this out and increasing that bulge, you're going to notice that it's going to snap into place. And it'll snap once it uh, reaches a perfect hemisphere. You know, I can continue to go bigger and you can see it starts to bulge even bigger. So let's go ahead and just start going until we get it to snap right into place and click. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this line here because I want this to be all one sort of continuous profile. Um, and notice if I, I can select this and this independent from each other. So to trim this line, I'm going to go to Sketch, Trim. Notice that there's a letter next to it which says T. That's the keyboard shortcut for that particular option. Um, so anytime an option uh, has a, a letter next to it, that's the keyboard shortcut. So we'll be um, slowly getting used to using these instead of actually choosing it from the menu. So right now we'll just select trim and I can highlight uh, the line I want to trim just by hovering over it. So let's go ahead and click on this line and now that line is gone. So if I hit escape now when I select this, see how the whole thing will now select as one profile. Okay, next we're going to use the offset tool. So I'm going to go to sketch I'm going to go down to offset, notice the O, choose offset, and I'm going to click, I can click on any one of these lines and the whole thing will highlight. So let's click on it and I get this red border around the entire profile. Now I can drag this outwards or inwards. 
Um, and notice if I go outwards, it turns into a negative number. And if I go inwards, now it's positive. So I know I want an offset of two millimeters. So I'm just going to hit two and enter. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I really want this line to come all the way across and meet this line here. Now, to do that, I can go ahead and choose line and just draw a line across. Um, but there's actually an easier way. I can go to sketch and choose extend. Now, the way extend works is if I just hover over the line I'm trying to extend, it'll actually show me in red um, the preview of what that's going to look like. So that's exactly what I want. So I'm going to click on that and now. I got my line to extend to the other line. So let's do the same thing with this line here. I'm going to click on it and I've got my extension. All right, now I'm going to hit T for trim and get rid of some unwanted lines. So I don't want this line here and I don't want this line here. Now that left us with a pretty much top down view um, profile of what I want the tweezer to look like. So that's looking good. Um, there's a, just a couple more things I want to do before we extrude this. Um, and that's going to include putting a little tapered angle uh, on the top and bottom here of the, uh, I guess, what would be sort of the, the, the clamping fingers. Um, because when they come together, I want it to be able to meet each other uh, in, a, in a way that's going to be flat. And I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to start with, I'm going to hit or press L for line. And I'm going to draw a line from... Anywhere here on the top to the bottom line. Notice I get this little um, right angle um, constraint here showing me that that line is going to be perpendicular to the horizontal line. So I'm going to click that and notice it's, it stays there showing me that that's the, a perfectly vertical line. So that's what I want. So now I'm going to hit or go to sketch, go to sketch dimension, uh, notice the D. I'm going to select it and I'm going to click on this line and this line here and I'm going to enter a sketch dimension of five millimeters and hit enter. Now I want to draw a line from this corner at an angle to here. So I'm going to hit L for line. I'm going to start right on this corner. Notice it turns into a little box uh, once I, I get that corner. and. I want it to be sort of on the bottom half. Notice if I go right to, if I hover on the midpoint, I get that triangle showing me this is the midpoint. So if I was looking to split this in half, um, it's easy to find that midpoint by just uh, getting it to um, reference that triangle. So I'm not sure exactly where I want to be, but I know I want to be in the lower half of that. So I'm just going to click anywhere down here. And now I can actually enter a dimension for this angle. So I'm going to hit D for sketch dimension and hit this line or click on this line and this angled line. And now instead of a dimension, I get the angle that pops up. So it looks like I drew it at 5.7 degrees. So I'm going to click on it and I want that to be exactly five degrees. So I'm going to hit five and enter. Okay, now all I have to do is hit trim uh, to remove some of the unwanted lines. So I'm going to hit T for trim and remove this line, this line, and I'm also going to move this reference line that I made here. Now that looks good. I'm going to do the same thing on this bottom part. So we'll start off with L for line and I'm going to draw a line. And this time I'm going to purposely draw it um, crooked uh, just to show you guys uh, how to easily fix that. So let's say you drew that line and it's uh, you meant for it to be vertical. Um, you don't have to undo and redraw it. This is a great um, way to start using constraints. Um, so if you look here at your sketch palette under constraints, there's a whole bunch of constraints that you can use and I'll be introducing them more and more as we um, go through the models. So the first one we're going to use is actually the vertical or the horizontal slash vertical constraint. So I want this line to be perfectly vertical. So I'm just going to click on this constraint and click on this line and notice that it made it perfectly vertical. And it gives me the little icon there showing me that that constraint, um, you know, hasn't been applied. The way that works is it actually will apply the closest uh, constraint that that line um is angled toward. So if it's if that line was closer to being vertical, it's going to make it vertical. If it was closer to being horizontal, it would make it horizontal. 
Okay, now let's hit D for dimension and we will again dimension this line to this line to be five millimeters. And we'll now go ahead, hit L for line to enter another line. And this time we're gonna go between this point and somewhere here, right on that line. We'll zoom in a little bit and hit D again. And this time we're gonna enter the angle dimension. So we'll hit this line and this line between that angle that we want. Click again and enter dimension of five. Okay, now I'm going to hit T for trim and I'm going to click on this, this line and this line to trim those out and also click on this and this line to remove those. Okay, now I can zoom out and that looks to be exactly what I want. So I'm done with this sketch for now. So I'm going to go ahead and click on stop sketch. Now I have a profile that will be able to be extruded up. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and click on create extrude. Notice the E and I'm going to click on this profile. It's going to turn blue. I'm going to orbit so I can start, can see this arrow. And I'm going to just start dragging this up and notice I get this dialog box. And there's a few options here. Um, right now, I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that this box says 10. Uh, that's the same uh, option as setting the distance over here. Um, the other options are the direction, operation, and extents. We're not going to change any of these. Um, so just leave it as is, and we're just going to click OK. All right, so now I have an extrusion. Uh, and I have a 3D shape now. And that's the approach we're going to take throughout every model um, that we're going to design in this course. Uh, basically, we're going to start with a sketch and then we will extrude that sketch to be a 3D shape. Okay, a few more things I want to do to this tweezer. Um, it'll actually, you know, if I print it the way it is right now, it'll print fine. But let's let's just make it look a little bit nicer. So. I'm going to hit on the cube here um, to get it to align. So I'm looking straight at the side. And what I want to do is I don't want this to be a complete, uh, just sort of a perfect rectangle. I want this to have a little curve um, that's going to go here from this end to the bottom here. So to do that, I'm going to sketch on this side profile. So I'm going to go to sketch, create sketch. and Instead of selecting one of the planes, so notice here I have these light bulbs next to my body so I can actually expand these and also the sketch. If I uncheck the body's light bulb, the body will get out of the way and I can see I have access to my three planes. So I'm going to turn the body back on and I'm actually going to choose this uh, surface of my model to sketch instead of one of the planes. So let's click on that. And now I have this plane selected and my body is still uh, shown there. So I'm seeing the plane on top of the body. Um, but I can, if I get rid of that, you know, I'm still sort of left with this outline of the plane. Now, what I want to do is reference these corners because I want to draw from here to here. So I actually want to reference these sides. Um, the way to do that is by using the project option um, which will project the model into my current plane so notice if i get rid of my body if i turn off this light bulb here you know everything's gone um, but if i turn on the body and then go to sketch go down to project include and go to project i can go ahead and now click on the lines that i want to project so i'm going to project this line this line this line and this line and I'm going to hit OK over here on this dialog box. Okay, now I can get rid of the body and I have these purple lines showing me the outline of that particular model. So the way I want to do this is I want to create an arc that's going to go from here to here and I want it to stop about three millimeters up from this corner. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a point. So I'm going to go to sketch and we'll choose point and I'm just going to set that somewhere here on this lower half and then hit D for dimension and click on these two points, this and this. 
bring that out and enter a sketch dimension of three millimeters. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and select my three point arc. So I'm gonna go to sketch, arc, three point arc again. I'm gonna start at this point, come out to this point, and now I can set that bulge. Um, so in this case, I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a bulge. And notice again, I get that snapping feature. That looks like a good place to to um, set the bulge. So I'm just gonna click again. And there it is. So that's that's all I needed to do there. So I'm gonna go ahead and click stop sketch again and I'm gonna turn the body back on so now I want to be able to extrude this top part out to cut um, to cut this top section and just leave me with this bottom part so to do that I'm gonna to go to create extrude and I'm gonna select this top profile and I get my arrow again now I can either push this out to create some more geometry or I can push it into the model to cut and notice over here how it goes from join when it's being pushed out to cut when it's going through the model. So I'm just going to, for this uh, instance, I'm going to go past what I need to cut and just hit OK. Notice that the pink area is past my cutting profile here. So I'm going to click OK and that left me with this uh, curved shape that I was looking for. Okay, now I want to extrude these out. So these will be sort of the little uh, gripping paws, I guess you can call them. Um, so I want them to be extruded out a little bit. So I'm going to hit E for extrude. I'm going to click on this. Start dragging it out. Actually, I only want it to be one millimeter um, in, uh, in uh, the extrusion length. So I'm going to click one and just hit OK. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing with this side. Now, if you want to um, reference your last feature in Fusion, all you have to do is right click on the mouse and whatever you did in the previous exercise, it'll have a repeat of that function. So in this case, it was uh, extrude was the option that I used last. So if I right click, I get the option to repeat extrude. So I'm just going to click on that and click on this side as well. Give it a extrusion of one millimeter and click OK. Alright, that's starting to look good. Now I want to enter some fillets in here. So I'm going to go ahead and go to modify fillet and I'm going to start with a fillet right here on this corner. And so I'm going to click to select that and I'm going to do the same thing with this side. Notice that it's smart enough to know what I want to select. So if I, I don't even have to hover to go around the other side, I can just sort of click over here where I, you know, I believe it's you know where that option is and it gives me that line so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that to select both of these and I'm just gonna start dragging this out and I think two millimeters looks good for fillet so I'm gonna click OK and one more fillet uh, will be between um, this edge and that edge so I'm gonna hit F for fillet click here click on this edge and I'm gonna sort of do the same thing just kinda of start dragging it until it kinda of looks right in this case, a uh, fillet of about 10 millimeters looks good. So I'm going to click OK. All right, and that's our tweezer. That looks uh, really good. So now this is ready uh, to be 3D printed. So there you go. Enjoy.